as Slick B here, and today I'm bringing you something very special. So in the description, you can find this mod. It's on the War Thunder forums. Now this is cockpits for three of the bombers, the B-17, B-25, and the HE-111. So they only work on the specific versions. So this is the B-25J-1's cockpit. It only works on the B-17E and the HE-111H-3, I believe. So I'm going to be showing you the B-25. Um, don't expect much. I mean, they're not made by Gaijin. They're not extremely rendered, but they're still pretty cool and they're usable. So you can play SB and whatnot with the cockpit and not have to be a cheating nub, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to hop into a test flight and try this out. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. So here we are on the runway, as you can see, of the test flight area in our B-25. So what we're going to do to get into the cockpit is press V, which is how you change sights. And here we are. We're in the cockpit. So as you can see, we have our co-pilot. We can see our gunner in the back. He's got some weird legs. Stuff happens. There's no dials in this one. I'm pretty sure the HE-111 does have dials. But let's get excited and start her up. Here we go. Look at that. All right, so it does have a functioning gun sight, as you can see, because the B-25 does have front-facing guns. So we're going to start her up here. Put flaps on takeoff. And here we go. So, this is pretty awesome. I'm very excited. Oh my god. See, why can't Gaijin just do stuff like this? This isn't that bad of a, a cockpit to make, you know what I mean? It's pretty much the same as every other plane. We already got the person in here. Hell, take it from here. should be us off. We're going to track our flaps and put our gears up. Oh, man. This is neat as hell. So, like I said, if you guys want to see these mods, just link is in the description. You just download them, and the way you put them in is you just paste them into your War Thunder folder, so your complete file. And I'll actually show you guys after this, so stay tuned if you need to, need to understand how to put it in, because I will show you. This is neat as hell. So this will help for SB gameplay and stuff. You know, if you want to get a little bit more realistic into the game, have a little bit more fun. Obviously, I'm using mouse aim right now, but it'll it'll it would work with a joystick. You know, it's the same thing. Let's let's ground straight something. All right. So we're gonna wait till we get closer. Obviously. Well, maybe not. Oh, this is so freaking cool. So the dial, you know, oh god, I lost my way there. So like, guys, you need to just take this and put the put the dials in. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Look at this shit. That's fucking awesome. Alrighty. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna cut frame you guys can explore this stuff yourself but I'm gonna cut frame real quick and show you guys how to put it into your War Thunder folder so I'll see you soon alright guys so here we are on the page that you come to in the description this is the mod you're gonna download it open it on whatever whatever uh, browser you're using right and you get this content folder now how you get to the War Thunder folder if you're using Steam is you just right click properties local files Browse local files and you're in here. Now all you got to do is take this and drag it and drop it in here. I already have it. As you can see, it's right there, this content folder. Now if you want to get to War Thunder and you don't use the Steam version, you press Start, Computer, Windows. Oh, I need to clear that out. Program Files times 88. Scroll down. And War Thunder is right here. So I might have a folder, but double click that and you just drag and drop it in there and you should be good golden and that'll work and then you hop in game my game's already open but you want to restart the game hop in and on those three planes you'll have the cockpit for them so hope you guys enjoyed a uh, pretty pretty cool ass video and so i can't i can't talk can't think but my exit this is the last time i'm going to mention it Leave a comment down below for my exit to my next video if I record it solo. So this isn't going to apply for videos that I record with other people because I'm not just going to yell or scream or whatever the um, 
the the wishes. But the content, the comment for this week is going to be flashing on the screen right now. And 